Hi guys, welcome to another video in improving your productivity video series. Today I will talk about habits. Yes, that one thing that almost all of us want to change, right? But it is really difficult to change those. So I will talk about how do you inculcate new habits? How do you continue the habits that you have started already? For everyone who is new, I am Chavi Gupta. I am an IIT Delhi and I am Ahmedabad Alib. And I was also the 100 percentiler of CAT 2017. Since last two years, I have been creating several videos to improve the life of professionals as well as students. Whether it is regarding uh, cracking some competitive examination or improving your speaking skills or maybe learning a new language and a lot more. You can know about all the different videos that I have created either on the website link that is there in description or just by browsing my channel. So today, as I said, we will talk about habits. I had created a video earlier in which I had mostly told about the different benefits a habit can have. Just to recap, for example, if you start exercising 5 minutes a day today, you might not see an impact in one year, but maybe in the next 4-5 years, you will be more fit than everyone out there, you will have a better stamina and maybe you would have also increased the amount of exercise you do every day. So maybe you have those six pack abs that you were wishing for, right? This is the impact that habits can have. It is not just a one day activity, it is a continuous activity you have to do again and again even when the results don't, don't come. I am sure that everyone would remember your new year resolutions and I am sure that all of us have broken those as well. Why do you think that happens? I think that it majorly happens because habits in general produce results after a while. There is a significant lag between the activity that we do and also the result that we get. Just like the exercise example that I told you. That is why doing that activity over and over again loses its charm in the first few weeks. And then you feel like, I don't know if I want to continue this, there's nothing happening, I'm exercising daily for 20 minutes, I have the same weight, etc, etc. That is why it is tough for us to continue the same habit again and again. That is why we lose out on good habits. Now, what do you think is necessary? to ensure that you can kind of continue on the good habit that you had decided on. There are four key things for this. First is make your habit obvious. Make it so obvious that you just have to do it. It's that obvious. The second thing is make it very attractive. In general, it's kind of a painful process to perform any habit, whether it is exercising, running, waking up early, meditating, it's tough. So we'll also focus on making it attractive. Third is making it very easy. So that when you think about exercising, it should not be like I have to do this huge task. It would rather be something which will be very easy for you. And the fourth one, which is more essential for continuing that habit is make it satisfying. That after that habit, even if you do not see the results that you want to see, it is still satisfying for you, okay? Now first starting with making it obvious. Now how do you make it obvious? What happens is that the kind of habits that we think of is that I will exercise more, I will read more, I will drink more water. But that is not making it obvious. Yes, it is obvious you need to drink more water. But when do you do it? How do you do it? What exactly are you saying when you are saying drinking more water? These are the key questions that you will have to ask when you are saying that you will make a habit obvious. Firstly, thinking about what is it that you want to do. Now, again, coming back to the new year resolutions, I know that a lot of us make like 10, 15, 20, a list of new year resolutions every time. For building a new habit, it is important that you kind of focus on only one habit at a time. I have a calendar view and I also have a list of things that I want to change in me, whether it is new habits or getting rid of old habits, etc. But I just focus on one particular thing every week so that I'm not burdening myself with 10 different things that I want to change, which I will just get tired of. 
So today, just think of one particular habit. I'm sure you can think of any habit that you have been continuing since a while. Suppose you have been working out since past five days. Let's make that the one single habit. Now, making that the one single habit, you also have to decide how you will do it. You will basically want to start small so that you can overcome the inertia of doing it. If you say that I will exercise 30 minutes from tomorrow, that is definitely not going to happen because it is so tough. You will feel that I have to take 30 minutes out of my time and maybe take a shower after that. So it is a huge task which I will not do. Maybe just say that I'll stretch for 5 minutes. That is your how. Now you have decided what exactly you want to do and how you want to do it as well. The next step is to decide when and where do you want to do it. Maybe I decide at 9 a.m. in the morning, just even just in my bedroom on the yoga mat, I will exercise for 5 minutes. Now that is a very specific habit that I have decided and it is, hence it becomes kind of obvious for me that these are the few things that I need to do. It gets inside my calendar, it gets embedded in my daily plan as well. In the when and where, also ensure that you take a time when you are not busy. For example, if you say that I will exercise at 11 a.m. When you are obviously making office calls or maybe attending college lectures, then that is not going to happen, right? So you will have to decide a time and place that works for you. That is why think of the daily schedule that you follow and see where is it that you can push this particular habit. Now that is something which will totally work for you. Now it is obvious. A step ahead is that you kind of link it with another habit that you do daily. For example, I brush my teeth daily. So I will say as soon as I'm done brushing my teeth, I will drink one bottle of water. And that is very obvious because as soon as I brush my teeth, I will drink that one bottle of water, right? Now that is making it very obvious. Coming to the second step, that is making the habit attractive. That is a little bit difficult, but it is doable if you link the habit with something you like as well. For example, if I say that I have to meditate, now meditating 5 minutes can be difficult, but as soon as I meditate 5 minutes, I will have a sweet of my choice. A small sweet, but a sweet of my choice. Now that is making the habit attractive. It is kind of known as positive reinforcement in the body so that your brain thinks that meditation is something that leads you to that particular sweet dish and that is something your brain likes. So you are linking the activity to a good positive outcome that is making this habit attractive. So every time you want to sit down for meditation, even if you feel that I don't want to do it, your brain might push that you know you will be getting rewarded because of this. So maybe this is something that will happen, right? The third thing is making the habit easy. Now, as I mentioned that, for example, after I brush, I will drink one, wat one bottle of water. How do I make this habit easy? I will pre-fill the bottle of water the night before. Before going to brush, I will put it in the microwave and ensure that it is warm enough for me to have. And once I'm done brushing, I have a good warm bottle water which I can directly drink. That is making the habit easy. Another significant point in making the habit easy is that you need to be kind of not aiming for perfection every time. For example, some people who want to start exercising, they will want exercise equipment, they will want a yoga mat, they will want the right shoes, they will also might want a gym bottle. There are so many things that you have made prerequisites for your exercise that it is very tough that it is going to happen. Instead of that, maybe just roll out any kind of small thin mattress or anything that you have, any mat that you have, just roll it out the night before near your bed so that as soon as you get up, you have something you can lie down on and stretch for five minutes. That is what making it easy is all about. Just make it so right there that obviously now I'm going to do this. The bottle of water is right there. It's warm. So obviously I'm going to drink it. The mat is right there. So obviously I'm going to exercise, right? So that is making it very easy. Now coming to making the habit satisfying. 
This is a difficult uh, part because the first three we can do. They are kind of in our hand and at least we can do it for around the initial 10 days or something like that, right? But making it satisfying requires kind of ensures that you do it continuously for quite a while, which becomes really difficult. The way to do it is that you need to track your progress. You need to track your progress, either you use an app. So there are a few apps that I know about that I also use. There's this habit tracker app. It is, I think known as loop habit tracker, has kind of a logo like this, a circular uh, arrow. There are also individual apps. For example, Thunderpod is one app that I use, which is used for meditation and exercising. You have to put in your daily streak over there. There are also 30 day exercise apps. There are apps for planks, for split and a lot of different things which will send a reminder to you at a time that you decide. For example, I had during lockdown put my reminder for 6 p.m. every day. So every day at 6 p.m. the app would remind me that you have not exercised in 5 days, you have not exercised in 10 days etc. For drinking water, there is this app known as Hydro. Or you can also have some app in your own smart watches or smartphones as well. That app was also something which was really good. Apart from smartphone apps, you can also use uh, physical diaries that are there. There are calendar diaries in which you have every single day written. You can maybe mark your habit daily in that. This is also something that I tried during IIM days. And the best thing could be just a wall calendar hanging in front of you and every day you tick. That gives you a feeling that you know you are maintaining a streak, you are tracking it. Maybe if it helps you just share it as well. If you are doing it on an app, you can say it has been 100 days since I have been achieving my water goal of 2 liters water drinking every day. And that is excellent because all of these things give us some kind of satisfaction. Maybe sharing it with friends, sharing it on social media, just tracking it for yourself. These are all things that give us satisfaction, right? So ensure that you build some habit, some kind of tracking mechanism like this as well. This will constantly keep you on edge and ensure that you are not really leaving or missing out on that streak. But for example, suppose one day you have missed out, right? Maybe you were too tired, maybe you were too busy, etc. The idea is that people then tend to leave it off. My idea is never ever leave a habit for more than two days. One day you can say that it was some particular day I just could not do it. Just get back to it on the second day. Maybe start small if you don't have time. Maybe just do two minutes stretching. But please do it. Because as soon as you have left the habit for three days, you are kind of back on square one. And then you have to start building that habit again. This is something which is very apparent in exercising. If I exercise today, I will feel the pain for next two days. For the initial five, six days, I will feel pain, but then my body will get used to it. If I stop exercising for three days and then I start, I will again start feeling the pain. Instead, if I can just stay one, take one day break, then it will not feel that much. But a three day break will kind of bring me back to square one, right? So this is not something that we want to do. Ensure that you are tracking, you are sharing. If you have to skip, you're kind of coming back the second day. Another thing that generally helps in keeping your habit is becoming a part of a community. For example, there are book lovers community, book read clubs, the app Goodreads, by the way, which I also use, gives you uh, in the start of every year, gives you a challenge that what is the number of books you want to read? And then I will put in my own book. A lot of other people will also put the reading challenge and I can see other people completing their books and then I'll feel that maybe I should also read more, right? So becoming a part of a community, maybe a bigger community like Goodreads or a smaller community like just a few friends who create a group of their own and maybe exercise daily, maybe read daily, maybe do something or the other every single day. These are the major tips to ensure that you can get on on good new habits, right? Just recapping, make your habit 
obvious. Just remember what is it you are going to do, how is it you are going to do it and when and where will you do it. Make your habit attractive. Link it with something that you really love. Maybe a sweet dish, maybe a phone call to your girlfriend or boyfriend, maybe something else. Make your habit very easy. Prepare beforehand. Prepare the night before when you were more determined than the morning, right? So make it very easy. Make the habit satisfying. Ensure that you are tracking it. Ensure that you are sharing it. Don't feel shy in sharing anything. Just if it makes you feel good, definitely go out and do it. I hope that with this, we will all be able to create some good habits. Right now, what I am doing is that I have again started reading. I had kind of lost it because I was really busy. Now that is an excuse because I was kind of not doing it since more than a month. I should have just come back after one or two days. But maybe I was I was just too tired and I was using it as an excuse. But I have started reading now and I promise that I will read at least one page of the book every single day. I'm sure I can take out two minutes from the day to read. And that is something I will do. Anyone who is interested in a similar challenge, join Goodreads. My uh, progress gets updated there every day. You can also do that. In case you are interested in any other specific habits, you can join the discussion group on Telegram. The link is there in description and mention either in the comments below or in the group whatever habit, new habit that you are creating and since how long you are doing it. Totally show it off, totally show off that you are doing it from 10 days or a month or even more. So let's all build really good habits together. Good luck to all of us and I'll see you again soon on Saturday live session. As you all know, I have a question and answer session every Saturday, generally at 7 p.m. I send out notifications on the telegram groups that are mentioned in link below. Uh, I also send out notification on Instagram so you can either follow me there or you can just sign up for an email notification on my website. Hopefully see you all again soon and I hope that you liked it. Please share any of your reviews or feedback in the comment section below. See you again soon guys. Bye bye.